If the Earth is 70% water, why do we have to conserve water? That's a good question. Let's take a look. Say this five gallon bucket of water represents all the water on Earth. How much do you think is available for humans? First, let's take out two and a quarter cups. This represents all the fresh water on Earth. And it amounts to just 3% of the Earth's water. Everything left in the bucket represents the 97% of salt water on the Earth. From our two and a quarter cups of fresh water, we still can't use all of it. We need to remove one and a half cups. It represents all the water stored in polar ice caps and glaciers. Even if these melt, they melt into salt water and are unusable. So, of all the water in our five gallon bucket, we've got just three quarters of a cup of fresh water left. But even that isn't all water we can use. We need to take out one quarter cup, which represents the water in the atmosphere or soil. This water is too complex to filter out to use. The remaining one half cup represents all the groundwater and fresh surface water. Even most of this is unreachable or unusable water. We either can't get to the water sources easily, or we need it to stay in our lakes and streams to keep those full and flowing for those ecosystems. So we'll take five drops from that one half cup. Those five drops represent the amount of fresh water available for humans to use. Just five drops out of five gallons. That's why we need to conserve and care for our water supply. This small amount of water is for all living things, plants and wildlife, not just humans. What can you do to help conserve water? Complete a water conservation checklist around your home with your family. If you bring a completed checklist to the Nature Center, you will get a prize for being water wise. For more amazing facts about water and how to conserve it, visit the Majestic View Nature Center at 7030 Garrison Street in Arvada or check us out online at arvada.org nature.